Okay. Hi, I'm Chet, and we're going to make candles today. Um, I'm going to be making little 8 ounce candle tins, and then uh, later on we're going to make little uh, like wax melts, little tart melts for like a wax warmer. Um, so we're going to make three, and uh, to make the three tins we use a pound of wax. I already have this all nice and weighed out, it's one pound. We're just going to put that in a pot of water on the stove and let that boil and melt down. Um, while that's boiling, let's go ahead and prep our tins. Um, so for three leaf crafts, I have to have my little warning labels. So I'm going to take my little warning labels, burn within in sight, keep away from flammable objects, keep away from children and pets. Um, on the bottom of all these tins. Then we're going to get them whipped and this fun little magnetic plunger that I use to put wicks in stuff. Um, so whip goes in, it's magnetized, these little wick stickums are going to go right on the bottom, peel the paper off. Then tins are real easy to make. I actually want to teach a class of these at a festival left next year. Um, they're really neat because there's a little circle. I don't know if you can see that in there, but there's a little circle where the work goes. It would like to have it perfectly centered. So we're just gonna pop that right in there. And then give it next one. So our wicks are in, um, got our little wick bar to so make sure that when we go to pour, the wick stays centered. So just smush them in there and center the wick standing up. Um, so wax for that's used for like containers and such has to reach um, a melting point of 185 degrees before we can add our fragrance and our dyes into. So once that gets all melted down and reaches 185, we'll add those in and keep going. Okay, so we're at 185. Turn my stove off and bring this over here. My thermometer out of there. So this is a pound of wax. So I only need one ounce of fragrance oil and it's by weight. Um, so the one we're making today is Fireside. This is one of Three Leaf Crafts uh, fall fragrances. Um, it has a top note of saffron, a uh, middle note of cloves, incense, and sandalwood, and then a base of uh, amber, patchouli, and smoke. It really does just smell like you're hanging out at a, like a bonfire, a campfire, fire fire. And it got a fire. Good fire. Not bad fire. Um, but, so we're going to weigh out just an ounce. right in there um, and for my candle tins I don't add dyes to them um, you just don't see it so I, I don't see the point in it so those ones are not going to get out dyes I do have my dyes out because we are going to be uh, adding color to the tart melts that we'll be making next um, so that's in there I'm going to give it a good stir for a few minutes literally like two minutes I'll stir it so we're just going to stir. Uh, we're at 147 on this video, so it's probably going to fast forward a little bit here in a second while I stir. Just really making sure that that uh, fragrance oil is evenly uh, just 
distributed through uh, the melted wax. Okay, that's been a solid two minutes. Now before we pour, pour these, um, I wanted to drop down to a pouring temp of 135. So it has to cool down a little bit before we pour it into our tin. So I'm gonna put my candy thermometer back in there, see what we're at right now. We're at 125, this might be there already. One pound is not a huge batch, so it doesn't take that long for it to reach temp or, yeah, de-reach temp. Reach temp going up and then cool down. <laughs> okay, so we're still at about a solid 150, so it's gonna need another couple minutes before we can um, uh, get that poured. Um, I'm gonna prep some wax for our tart melts next, so. Okay, so we're at 125, cooled down just a little bit more than necessary, but we're cool. So we're just gonna pour. And again, these are so easy because there's like an inner lip that shows like where the cutoff point is. So one pound should fill these up perfectly. I guess the, the net weight of these guys is five and a half ounces. A pound is 16 ounces. The math isn't 100% there, but it is for some reason. And we're all there. So give this guy a quick wipe. I got uh, another um, pound of the wax we're gonna be using for tart melts. So that's all in there. Another pound all the way it out. Back on the stove to melt that down. Um, and then got my labels for the tins. It's gonna pop these on the tin lids. It does not need to cool um, before we can pour it though. Like it can be poured like at like 180. So by the time we add those in and give it a good stir, that'll be ready for, to pour. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Finger guns. And we're at 185. So again, we're gonna get another ounce of fragrance. Toss that in there. And then I want like a, a dark, ready orange color. So I'm gonna take six drops of red just two drops of yellow because I want it to be mainly red not so much more then we're gonna stir for two minutes it's gonna fast forward again okay. 
two. Like I said, these are just ready to pour. So I got my little tart molds. So this is, I'm only gonna make nine tarts. I'm gonna save the rest of the wax in this little guy um, to whenever I need to restock on the website, but I, I just don't need that many at start. And um, a pound is too much for just nine, but I really don't like making any less than a pound at a time. Just the proportions are easy, like a pound of wax is a pound of fragrance. That's how I, like um, record like my um, how many drops of each color I use. It's all per pound. Uh, so I know I'll be remaking these later. So I'm just gonna save them, save the rest of the wax to just remelt down and I don't have to do anything else to them later. Color looks nice. goes in there. I'll honestly probably just pop that in the fridge or the freezer for it to cool down and solid up a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, that's that. So I made tins and tart melts, um, Fireside, new fall fragrance, fall 2020. What? Um, but all these going to be on 3D Crafts website come Maybon, the Fall Equinox, on the 22nd? 22nd. September 22nd. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. Um, all the stuff that YouTube people tell you to do below in the comments and subscribe button, social media, Instagram stuff. And yeah, I'll see you next time.